Hey guys, T-Max here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this series that I'm doing on cultural observations that I've seen over the last three years that I've been writing down and I finally decided to uh, compile it and share it with you all. And thank you for tuning in so far. If you haven't seen all the other videos, check them out with the link in the description below and get ready for today. We're talking about housing. <music> Beijing has the most expensive housing ever. And it's really weird because cost of living is not that high. So I lived in Belgium before in Brussels and I thought that the rent there was just astronomical, but cost of living was also astronomical. Beijing is cheap. Like food is cheap, transportation is cheap, you know, going out and hanging out with friends is cheap, cabs, everything except rent. And rent is not like, oh, just a little high. It is super high. Like it's the same price as Paris, New York, and London. And the quality is not good. We'll just leave it at that. And I have the pleasure of living on the Western side of Beijing in Haidian, where the school districts are very highly sought after. And therefore people pay even more just to have their children go to certain schools. And I'm paying all this money and I can't even drink the tap water. Nobody can, nobody can drink the tap water because the pipes are archaic. They're all old and rusted. So the water is clean, but if you don't want to get tetanus shot every day, you probably won't drink the water out of the tap. And because those pipes are not so good, you cannot throw your toilet paper in the toilet or you shouldn't. So you have to throw it in a garbage can. When you want the lights to come on, you have to stomp on the floor. It's sound based. And I've never seen this before. It was very interesting. I whistle and I, that wasn't a good whistle, but I do it better when I'm in the stairwell. I've always lived in apartments. You see this also in office buildings, uh, the, the way they number the floors. Sometimes there's an auxiliary floor, floor in between, and it would just be like instead of like the third floor, going to the fourth floor, it would be third and then three AF. Doesn't mean that three AF is more three than three. It's and since I've lived here in Beijing, I've always rented with a company called Zuroom. They usually have pretty nice furniture and they're pretty clean and decent and the agents are usually really helpful and you can use the app. And the app is now in English. It wasn't when I first got here. They, they do like this pooled renting where you share an apartment. They prioritize the bedroom. So the kitchens will suck, the bathrooms suck. At first I was very irritated with this because bathrooms are important in the West. Kitchens and bathrooms sell houses. And then I love to cook so I want like a nice kitchen. But then after living here for a while, this is my theory. Zoom knows that when you're in a shared apartment, the roommates are never gonna see each other, never gonna talk to each other, they're never gonna cook, and they're only gonna use the bathroom and then you use the toilet. So Zoom as a company said, okay, we're not gonna invest there. We're gonna make these rooms nice and everything else is gonna suck. And in these apartments, there's two things that you will never find, a dishwasher and a dryer. But I see them in stores all the time, so somebody has them, but I've never seen them. And Beijing is well known for its amazing air pollution that's really aggressive in the winter. And this is partially due to our burning coal for heat because the government actually provides free heat to everyone in the city. And that's probably why people don't care about the pollution so much. So the radiators kick on every winter and keep everybody nice and warm. I have actually not seen any houses with central heating and air. Up here is an air conditioner unit that's attached to one in the window that's outside. So for all you other expats out there, what have your housing experiences been like? Uh, leave some comments down below. If you're new to the channel, remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, and come back for more. And we'll continue this series and I'll see you in the next video.